Aaron Zimmerman? Mm -hmm. Yes. This presentation this afternoon by the Israeli uh, Ministry of Tourism along with CBN showed your film, uh, they previewed it, would you say? Yes, it was a preview and a trailer. What's the name of the film? To Life. And then the subtitle is How Israeli Volunteers Are Changing the World. What a fascinating topic. How did this picture come about? Uh, usually when I'm doing one film, I get off on a rabbit trail in the research and I discover a whole lot of other topics and then I just put them away for another time. We had done a series called Made in Israel about is Israel's amazing innovation in medicine, agriculture, technology. And in that research, I found that Israel was doing a lot for the world, not just from an innovation standpoint, but also from a humanitarian standpoint. And so I kind of filed that away, and then I, I, I did some more research, and I found five organizations who I thought had really amazing stories to tell. So that's why we're telling them. Uh, how does CBN come to cover Israel so well? Uh, Chris Mitchell was the MC, uh, and he has such a, a reliable, news bureau there of all the mainstream media. What's going on in media with CBN in Israel? Well, we've had a long relationship with Israel way before I was born. Um, Pat Robertson made his first trip to Israel, I believe, in the 19, early 1960s, late 1960s. And he, the first time he went there, he resolved that, and I believe his exact words were, CBN and all of the affiliates that are associated with CBN, we are going to stand with Israel, even if it's not popular. So really, I came into a ministry that is already doing that. Um, and it was sort of a natural thing, and I, I developed an interest in Israel because CBN News, like you mentioned, Chris Mitchell, CBN News is so Israel-focused. When I came there as a 23-year-old, I was puzzled by it. I thought, why are they obsessing over this one tiny little country? And of course, then I took my first trip and fell in love. And so it was sort of a natural outcropping of something that people were already doing. We just decided to add another layer to that, which was a long form documentary. What's the theme of the picture you made called To Life? Uh, it's really about how Israel at 70 is taking care of the rest of the world through humanitarian work. You know, Israel's surrounded by enemies, it's got its own political problems and, and, you know, people oppressing from the outside, and they could be very well justified in just taking care of themselves. But they're not. Even as early as the 1950s, before Israel even started, you know, its first decade, uh, that was sort of written into their government structure. We are going to help the world. And it really started with Golda Meir in Africa. And so 70 years on, we see how all these organizations, whether it's the earthquake in Nepal, whether it's the earthquake in Haiti, um, no matter where a disaster happens, Israel's always there first. They're there the biggest and they're there the best. So Israel has an uphill battle because even showing how uh, humanitarian they may be in the times of disasters, a response, they're up against a very strong current of pro-Palestinian, anti-Israel reporting around the mainstream press. Is this something that uh, inspired you to, to show this side of the state? I would say that inspired my boss more than it inspired me. The stories themselves I thought were very untold. And I thought that's something that most people don't know and needed to be told. My boss is very inspired to do anything that contradicts the BDS movement, the Boycott, Divestment and Sanction. And we included a story about the IDF humanitarian arm, which I don't think is something a lot of people know, because you see in the news when you see the IDF, oh, they're the ones shooting at the poor defenseless Palestinians. They're the ones that are terrorizing everybody. And it's simply not true. We wanted, we show these doctors from the IDF that are delivering babies and hugging them and comforting sick people. and So that's a side we also felt needed to be shown. Uh, how will this picture be s distributed and seen? Uh, this is an interesting thing that we're doing. We are distributing on DVD, um, online download, and also on YouTube for free. Um, for us, it's not really a money-making thing. Um, for us, it, it, we want to accomplish two goals. Number one, we want to enlighten people who haven't heard these stories and maybe don't have the best opinion of Israel. We want to change their minds, and we want to show this to as many, as my boss puts it, get as many eyeballs on this as possible. And also a personal goal for me, since I've spent time with these organizations and I've seen how some of them even just operate on a very small budget. 
I want to bring awareness to some of these groups who are doing this amazing work that maybe people haven't heard of. And at the end of the film, you know, we're going to have a place where people can donate if they want to. Each organization will give the information. So if they're particularly touched by one work and they feel like they want to do something, we want to make that possible and uh, get some exposure for these organizations and get some help for them. Where can people find out more about it? Uh, we have a website called tolifethemovie.com. So they can go there. Uh, can people also find it on the CBN News site or CBN.com? Not just yet, but the week of April 16th when it starts to air on our show, uh, they will, it will be on CBN.com on that week. But this early, you can go to the movie website, to lifethemovie.com. Where will it air on television during that April 15th week? Uh, it'll air one segment. We have five segments. We'll air one a day during the week of April 16th, and that will be on the 700 Club, which is on ABC Freeform Channel. How long a segment each day will show? Uh, they're all different. I think we have one that's 11 minutes, one that's 12, one that's 24, one that's 20. So they're all different. They're in the 10 to 25 range. That's right. So people should set their DVR. Uh, absolutely. Set it for the whole hour. <laughs> for the, and for specifically for the whole week. Yes, for the whole week. April 16th, the whole week.